Hey guys, Blake here, and I have a tutorial here for you today. And if you've seen my latest video, you'll know the Wizard 101 Test Drum is out with a short new world, a short side world. But in my opinion, it's a side world that will lead into a new arc of the Wizard 101 storyline. It is Wisteria, that's how I pronounce it, the rival school to Ravenwood um, College, uh, Ravenwood Schools of Magical Art. It looks pretty, uh, looks pretty Harry Potter based in my opinion, but that's not the topic of the video today. Today I'm going to show you how to download the test room on a Mac, because if you are a Mac user, you will know that most, uh, not most, um, that Code Weavers does not have a download for the test room, but I have asked them if they were ever going to do so, and they responded and told me there is a way to actually get the test room right now, and it works, there are some bugs, but it still works nonetheless. What you want to do is you want to go to Wizard 101 Central, and you want to come to this post where it has the uh, download file for um, the test room. I will have a link to this in the description as well. Um, once you download it, it will come into your downloads folder right here. Install Wizard 101 Test.exe. Now, to, to install an exe file is pretty simple. Open up your crossover games. Go to Programs, Run Command, and for Use Bottle, make sure it says Wizard101. If it does not, then just click from the drop down and select Wizard101. Once that's done, you want to go to Command, you want to go Browse, you want to go to your Downloads File uh, folder, you want to click Wizard101 uh, Wizard Test.exe and hit Open. Once that's done, you hit Run. Once it runs, everything will be done. That's it. It'll pop up with this. It'll make a new file that says uninstall test, and it'll have this icon which you can drag and drop from the folder right into the dock. Um, and you could close the, you could close this window as well, because once this is, uh, once you get this, you don't need to have this open. Now I'm gonna tell you the bug that I found with it. When you switch a resolution, and you go into a huge resolution like I could go up to one, 1,280 by 1,600. I think that's exactly it, because I'm playing on my TV. Um, the cursor doesn't work right. Like, let's say the M right here was a button. If I were to put my cursor right over it, it wouldn't work. I'd have to put my cursor over to the C, and it would select the M. It's a little bugged, but it still works pretty, works pretty darn good. And I'm pretty, I'm like really happy they told me this. Because now I could play the test drum and not be so depressed saying like uh, all those Windows users can use the test drum and I can't. Well, now you can. And now I can. And um, yeah. If you didn't see the Wisteria video I uploaded, which is about 25 minutes, um, an annotation will pop up in this corner right now. So I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy and I hope that I helped you out. See ya.